So yeah, hello and good day everyone. My name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to Space Engineers episode 5. And yeah, I know we're, we're a little bit um, off schedule, but I've decided so on Fridays I'm going to do it sort of halfway to, throughout the day. Um, we have got a bit of a damaged rover um, and we still haven't found any ice. Okay, so it's a sort of, yeah, we, we need to fix a few things here. And I am going to start by, yeah, well, let's go and lift the rover up. If it's even working. Right, is, is that not a thing? Like, have we... that broken too like okay give me the control panel please maintenance lift yeah low pistons then now set to retract right and if I said to extend I want to see what's going on here extending but they are not fuel critical is is the piston stuck? Is what oh, I'm missing here? Like it feels something is inherently broken, like completely. Like um, go and pull that back in. Share inertia tensor. Share inertia tensor. Okay, um, reverse. Yes, critical line limits. Trying to see if one of these guys is misbehaving or something, but not. Okay, go and pull them back in. What is going on here? I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's something I've done in my repairs yesterday. So let's have a look here. Um,. So, what's the state of the batteries? That they're going to be absolutely degraded. Um, yes. So, <laughs> interesting. Like, I truly don't understand why the pistons won't lift. Makes no sense to me. I'm just trying to see. It's right there, it's fine, it's... It makes no sense to me, like, um... I don't even... still pick me up, but that's fine. Uh, did we clang something? I don't feel like we did. Come up here. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Uh, that was that was the one that we've sort of mocked up. Fuel critical. And have a look. It's like they're not even doing anything at all. What's going on here? Right, turn those two off just because energy consumption. Um, but no, seriously, turn it off, turn it back on again. I I am thoroughly confused here. Let's go and remove that from the toolbar. Just because I... Uh, okay. Um, so reverse we want on that. And the other thing I did... Did we fix that? Yeah, that is fixed. Let's turn the gyros off. Um, just in case they're trying to do something funny. I, I don't think they would. 
Fuel critical. But I see it's just not lifting at all. And is it maybe energy? Like, could be. Okay, just first of all, make sure they are attached. I would, I would imagine they're just completely retracted, right? Yeah, or retracted. Okay. Fuel Let's critical. try something here. Um, give me just a few steel plates. I'm going to weld that one together. Because I feel like that's where it should be, anyways. Right? That, that's sort of. Structural purposes that should be correct. Alright. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to build. Where is. Yeah, yeah, go and give me, please, the components and make those two. Alright. We're just going to go and place a battery in here. Well, I'm thinking if we provide enough energy here. Right, we may be able to actually lift it now. Ah, that's all it was. We were actually literally completely out of energy. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and turn off the whole grid. Um, I mean, daylight is coming on, so we should get a charge soon. Um, but there, there is things that need fixed here. Uh, this this rover is not entirely fit for purpose. And so I have thought about this last night, like just sort of to myself. Um, what I would like to try and do, um, if if I can, let's grind out a block. I'm trying to find the middle here. Sure, I did do such a thing. This block, right? Yes. So this right here is the. Center of mass, if you will. Right, I'm going to remove that. And then I am going to now stick a piston in there. I'll put that together. And, but that's not it. That's not all. Because there is another part to that I'm going to attach. Right, um, go and make those, please. Right, all components successfully withdrawn. Nice. Well, this up. Can weld this up. Now comes the question, can I get away? Oh, I, I need probably the ingredients for that. that. That would be helpful to start with. No, we're not wanting that large grid. Just, just a small grid landing here. Just make me then one of those motors, please, and... There we go. Right, and so my 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 attempt here, and I I say attempt because I don't know if it's gonna work. There is a position. Yes. Now I think I need to turn it. I think that is the front. Or right. Like, I'm sure the colors mean something, but. To me, this looks like it's the front part of the, or the, the front facing direction of the line. Right. Right. And here is now the whole point here. Here's what I was hoping I could do. We are going to now, come on, give me back in here. Um, need a new bar. All blocks. Also, there is a new piston that we're going to just call this a no well, what temp piston because it's not actually going to stay right it literally is just a means to an end right now and it's you that i want to say reverse and where are you this landing here i would say to say switch lock okay the other thing i would like to do is i would say don't auto lock please now, I believe, if I'm doing this correctly, oh, we need to turn the grid on. We're now locked into the ground, and we can lift it up a bit high. 
That is nice. I can now pull those guys in. Right, and then we're going to turn the whole grid off again. Just to save ourselves energy. But it should recharge now, thank goodness. Um, right. Let's look at this, yeah. So we know this is being fixed. Right. And all I'm really wanting from this, to be honest, um, is just an extension. Now... Oh... Huh. Just bear with me here. I I have a I wouldn't call it a plan, but I have an idea. Could we So first of all I'm I'm thinking instead of landing you know magnetic plates to actually put yeah, landing gears on just like this. So it gives you gives me extra clearance. Um, let me let me try that. Let me try something here. No, no, not not big grid. Please, good grief. Um, right, that's one. That is two. That is come on. The third one. Oh, build planner. One motor make thank you all right so we have now four landing gears in the inventory here now as i say i want to make sure that we're aligning these the same way i think it's that way i i, I feel ah yeah like so one no Yes, three and four. We're just gonna weld these up as are, as is. Dink, 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 dink. I'm gonna play with an idea that I've had in a sort of single player world when I was learning the game. I'm gonna try and sort of extend the rover out to the bottom here. Um, just uh, like, yeah, just steel plate. Like, I, I, I don't know what I'm needing to leave free for it not to clang. So we're going to be very, um, what would you call it? Very conservative here. Please tell me, dear base, do we have any steel plate? Yeah, I'll, have plenty. I'll, I'll take it, right? We're just placing steel blocks at the moment, just... Um, let me just go and sort of put something down that I think should hopefully work. I might actually need to go out, so that's what we're actually going to do first. Bam, 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 go right there. I'm going to shut these three off, right? And then basically build this down. I, I want the landing gears to really be able to move. And we might as well extend our wheelbase while we can. So they're getting chopped off as, as well. I did go one more to the front, didn't I? Yeah, so I can do the same at the back. Come out there and just yeah, bring it round here. And yeah, finish off on this side. And like so. Okay. Then we're going down the middle. I'm gonna have to leave that free, I think. Although, no, the, the piston is fully extended, so it may actually just retract right back into itself. Nice. Which we'll try anyways, right? Um, what other steel blocks can I put in here to really... So, my sort of hope and intention is that these guys are going to completely disappear when they're pulled up. 
that is sort of what I'm hoping to aim for, right? And I'm going to pretty it up, you know, once I have an idea on what it's going to look like. And I think... I'm also going to be a little bit lazy here. I mean, we have a build and repair, and we really do have the resources for it to say, hey, go and build up what we have, you know, at least the things that we've allowed you to build. And we certainly don't need, like... Give me a container. No, not that one. You're just a small car container, right? And I'm just gonna dump a whole load. Should have done this a little bit smarter, I realize. Yeah, like so. Right. There should be enough, certainly, to finish off those blocks, and hopefully, I'll see them welding on here as well. Um, may not actually, because uh, built and repair may actually be just set up to walk, meaning just connect a grid, but we'll see. Um, oh, yeah, okay, cool. So you're building that stuff at the same time. Eh, okay, why not? Well, some of it anyways. Um, so that is certainly enough to make those disappear, right? Um... And then bring that over. No, 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 no. That is definitely going to be clanging. Not that block. Like so. And I'm, again, not entirely certain how landing gears behave, so I'm going to give them a little bit of sort of clearance, as it were. Right, and just start welding things up. Or have an understanding of what it looks like. Right, I, I feel like just seeing the metal frame is not quite enough sometimes. So, bring this round. This is all fine. And I'm actually hoping, if I've done this right, to make this a six-wheeled vehicle instead of one. That's basically the only extension we're going to do in terms of making it more, yeah, you know, survivability in terrain. Call it that. Um, I know, not the most exciting, but this is also part of Space Engineers, you know? <laughs> and I love this part, I like, I, I love just trying to build something, seeing it come together, seeing it fleshed out, and you're like, mm, yeah, I like where this is going. Um, yeah, more blocks. Just so we can bring it down to that level. Wait, I think I forgot one there. Yeah. This seems fine so far. Um, build up these blocks. And then just finish these three off. Right. And then the next important step, we're going to have to chop these guys. And they're going to have to come down way down as much as that. Yeah, taking the wheels off first, and then hopefully I can get at the bases as well. 
And what I might do is just, you know, the usual. I'll put a ramp block, say, here-ish. And then we're just going to go and say, hey, bring that out. Bring another one. And of course it's a little bit funky, but this should be fine for us to get up here and say, hey, go and now please chop the suspension off. Or maybe not. Can we do it from here? There, yeah, that'll do. Alright, that's that part. And then, yeah, I had a feeling I would have to do the same thing. Come on. No air ram, please. That way seems fine. Right? I, I think. Anyways, we'll see. Right, put a block up there. Put a block there, and then try and just bring it along. That should do, actually. Looks like. No, no not a drill. Oh, um... Nope. Slow block. And then... A few of those. Yeah, that should be fine. And then we can grind off that. Sosh Benson. And there we go. Right, and then I can chop the scaffolding away again here. Boom, boom, boom. Skadoosh. Right, now reattaching wheels. Um, I want to go out more, or is this fine? I'm considering options. Uh, this here is the left side, right? So let's start now. No, no, no. Had it almost. But like like so, and then I need to make sure that no. That goes like so. Right, that's one. That's two. And I know what I said about six wheels, but let's let's start just with the four that we can actually place. Um, um, because this we can weld together right now. Right, like so. There we go. Hello, unknown signal. If I had a working robot, I might even fetch you. I may. But I don't, so I won't. Um, next, up here. So, there we go. Oh, uh, this first. I, I know it doesn't really matter, but I like to do suspension first and then the wheel. Call me fussy. Um, this right here is the left side, so we're gonna just go and tell it to... No, oh, good god. Good god, no. It's a bit big. One. Make those components, please. Oh, damn you, built and repair. I think it's literally just used up the components that I've made it put into production. Okay, we are literally going to have to tell Build and Repair right now. Mm, yeah, it would be nice to have you guys, but no. No, small one. Oh, come on. Okay, and then another one, because we need two wheels extra. 
put those into production just because I would like to see it. Yes. It's going fairly quickly, so it's fine. Right, fantastic. That should be it now. Right, I am on the other side, so let's put one. That's the middle block, is it not? Yes, it looks like. And then other side right there. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, now, I said last time that we were going to talk about programmable blocks and all that. Um, and that will come soon. Maybe even today, I'm not sure yet. But the biggest takeaway here is that we're going to have to make sure that the steering isn't going to go absolutely ape on us. So we're going to do a thing in a second and I'm going to show you. Um, steel plate, steel plate. I know, steel two, I mean. And I want to make sure we have enough structural integrity here. So the whole thing doesn't just fall apart on us. We're badly welded parts and I know I need to fill that out more and that's fine. Um, can you please? Yes, that's nice. Put that one together. I think that one's completely done. Like so is that. Yeah, and then just this wheel. Right. And just while we're here we may as well just do it here. I get a build vision, right? We want to make sure that this has no steering angle. Or, you know, the, the, the very, very slightest. Like, five degrees may actually already be too, too much. But, you know, the middle wheels, we want to make sure that they are really quite tame in, in their steering. Um, if we're actually going with the six-wheeled uh, six steering. Um, not a steer override, steering, steering angle, right down a 5%. Gonna have to keep it consistent on each side. And other things, bad things will happen. And clang will ensue. Or total destruction of your grid. You know, whichever comes first. <laughs> um, I would like to get to my grid, but apparently I've built a little bit, I've went a little bit high there. Right, okay, cool. Now, first of all, we're going to just come down, we're going to say, yeah, bring this guy, oh yeah, we need to switch the grid on, and then unlock, right, this is fine, I'm not, I'd like to see it on the ground. And it looks like an absolute behemoth just now. But you know that there's blocks that we can now slice off and make more cargo space or something. Um, so that's actually fine. Um, now I'm hoping, so let's go and, nope, oh, wrong button. Go and remove this from the toolbar and remove this from the toolbar, right? Um, we still have that group of pistons, I'm sure. That should still be the same, right? But we now need to set up a group for maintenance lift. Uh, right, so wait. I have, I've, I've done a thing, haven't I? Where I should have named these. Okay, this is the temp one. Right, we're gonna just make sure I know which one it is. So, boom. Right? We're gonna again say don't auto lock, please. I. Uh, there's circumstances where it's valid to use auto lock and that is fine, but for right now, no, please don't. And then we're gonna call it the maintenance lift lock. Maintenance. Lift lock. Uh, this is just me making up names as I'm going along. Like, there's no rhyme or reason. It just seems to me makes it seems to make sense to me. Excuse me. Right. So setting up a quick bar. We've done this guy, right? 
Let's go and remove a bit of stuff here just so we can clean it up a little bit. I said go and remove from toolbar please. Now we have the maintenance lift, now we need the other group for the maintenance lift. Lock, which we're going to say just switch lock. Right? Cool. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Now, if I said 9 for extension, and then locked us into the ground. And so here's something that you may, may have just noticed there. Let's, let's come back down. If you lock into the ground too soon, the pistons will get stuck because there is slight sideways movements. So let's do that again. I'm going to come up and going to lock prematurely, like so. It'll go for a wee while. No. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, there's this thing where you're better off like, letting the piston fully extend and then lock into a completed place. So you've seen movement there when I locked. Now I can lock and it's nice and stable. Right? And I feel that is a nice little sort of maintenance platform for the whole thing. I can go and chop this off now. Right, the same with that piston, that, so there's a top piston part that can come off, and then there's the whole piston that can come away. No, 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 put that back together, and for now, no, Sebastian is an idiot, take that block away please, it is a full block I want, yeah, like so, we're, we're just going to go and fill out spaces here right now. Because we can see where the landing gear is done its thing. I am sure I can literally do something like this. I can encl enclose the whole nacelle. Almost. Like, I think I have to leave that block and that block behind and in front of it. You know, I think we'll have to leave them. We have to leave them basically unoccupied. Did I just... Yeah, I did. I did just do this. No. Oh, put that back together. And I weld this up first. And you, you may... Every so often you'll see movement in your grid. Because you're adding weight. And it doesn't mean necessarily Clang is coming to visit. It just means, you know, your, your grid is settling. You know, you know. So say you're adding weight, you're adding mass at different parts. And so... The grid will behave accordingly. So, and my hope is that these are literally going to completely disappear in, in itself, basically. Right. Right. Now I'm just going to weld the under. Well, the, the underside up as much as I can and build it up because I can then start chopping at the top. I need to make sure we're not locking anything in. And I have I had another idea just because I broke this rover quite badly last time. I think we're going to add a building repair like to the actual. Let's see here. I could Oh. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that looks fine. Um no need to. I think we're gonna give the rover its own little build and repair. Because everything we have on the rover has been built by ourselves, you know, so we know we've unlocked the blocks pertaining to that particular technology. Oh. Um and so I, I don't see really a reason not to be able to just... Sorry, I'm trying to really make this look consistent. It's there. That's like three blocks free there. Fill this space out. Um, but yeah, so that is basically the intention here. We're going, we're going to have... Uh, build and repair helping us build this rover up and keeping it 
in a, in a, in a, in a state we can actually drive in it. So enter the cockpit. Um, let's bring in the rover down. Like I've done my underneath work. I'll just bring it down. Put the handbrake on, you know, that we need, and cool. Also, I think you're charging the batteries, I would imagine you do, because we're, like, solar panel, the, the solar panel is doing something, so small battery, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, it's charging. It does take time, but it is charging, as a matter of fact. Cool. Um... Critical. So we're fine here, and there's a whole bunch of blocks we would be able to to, to chop off there. Um, let me see if I can. This may or may not work. I. Um, What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, so that's that level, that's that level, and I could probably even take this level off. And, and realistically, realistically, uh, I, yeah, okay, let me, you have mucked something up here. Just give me a minute here, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Not between the wheel well, please. <clears throat> Up here, and let me have a look at what I've done here with the cargo containers, because I don't... Uh... No, it's nice that the batteries are charging, so I'm going to leave them to do that. Um... I would definitely like a layer, or two layers actually, like so, they're just fine. Um, wheelbase may actually go one more down. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a thing. <clears throat> We're going to move the wheels. Yeah, I'm not happy with the ground clearance there. Really, what I need from the maintenance lift—that that, that is essentially the the ultimate goal why you have it on your rover. I feel is you need to be able to put wheels back on. That's sort of the main purpose there, right? So as long as your maintenance lift gets you lifted high enough, or get, gets your rover lifted high enough, it should be fine that way. But let me try. I put this together. Just sort of a nice outline of what I'm doing. Um, get in there. And yeah, just bring it up. And then I'm going to make something like a wheel well or, or you know, I, I don't know yet. Let me, let me see. Hmm. Or am I going to just leave it? Nah, I, I, I feel I want the wheels one lower. I, th I think we had a problem with that last time. Just ground clearance in general was an issue. So... Yeah, we're, we're going to chop the wheels. I may have wanted to test something first, actually, before I do that. One there. One there. And you would be going there. And we're going to just try it on this side and see if the wheels attach automatically or not. If they don't, we're not lifted high enough. Um, 
Oh, not these blocks. That's all that they need. Just put them together like so. Boom, boom. Um, and then basically get the wheels reattached right like so. And yeah, look at that. They are actually still building up fully. I feel this is a better clearance. We'll see the difference. I'm sure it will look a little bit better. And it's not just looks like I, I, I really feel that it hindered us last time in traversing some of the terrain. Because it wasn't overly steep. It was ragged, uh, rugged and jagged for sure, but it wasn't like all that complicated of a terrain, so. That, come on, that block. So hit hitboxes are always a little bit of a nightmare in this game. Um, and there we go. I'm going to do the same thing here and just plonk one, two, and three. Wait. Make sure it's actually structurally sound. For me to go and attach wheels to. Ha, I had a. No, I'm on the wrong side. That's what's happening. That's. that's Right, nice. That looks good to me. And I feel like I'm gonna have to do something with the pistons and sh shift them a bit. I just, just, uh ugly feeling I have, or I may be able to do something with cubic conveyor tubing or something, we'll see. Right. Um, so there we go, we've already... I, I feel that rover is now a lot better position, in a much better position to... Oh, where is it? Come on, I, I no, not that. I want the actual cockpit. This is so annoying. Yeah, you've actually shown me the hitbox a couple of times there. Just, I'm just sort of taking these unnecessary blocks away and hoping for the best. No. There was, there it was, there. Boom. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> should be able to unlock and come down. And yeah, this is what I was looking for though. Like the <clears throat> the landing gears are completely retracted, smooth to the floor. And yeah, we're we're raised up a little bit, you know, from that particular level. Yeah, 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 I like that. Okay. Now let's go and try and fix this whole machugana mess. Like there's a whole layer of blocks that we can just chop. Like a layer or two. Let me see. And then again, making sure we can leave the pistons at least intact. Alright, this seems fine. And this is really only necessary for the pistons, but I may make use of the space otherwise. You know, that there is always something that can be done there. Um, then we've done the conveyor converter thing there. Um, do I need to bring the cockpit maybe down a block? Let's see here. Is there anything in here? Give me the cargo container, please. Alright, and then we're gonna just chop quite indiscriminately here. 
take that whole layer off. Is this my better grind? Oh no, I've not got a better grinder yet. I've got a better well, I've got a better, better drill. No. No, this looks right to me. Like, this is where the piston would retract into and the landing gear would be sort of here. Um, or is the landing gear already fully retracted? Like, I don't feel like it is. Right. Anyways, um, not to worry so much. I'm trying to get this redesigned a little bit. Right. Yeah, can take this whole section off as well. Nope. It's fine. Get that closed in. Like, are we? I think we are actually fully in inside right so we know already what what the free spaces are in oh, come on. yeah i know i really need ice that's why we're fixing the rover <laughs> um but so my hope is oh, do this to me no thank you um but I'm thinking we're actually fairly close now to a design that I can take back out and head towards a mountainous area and actually find ice. Okay, nice. Now, is this a free block? It feels like it could be. I'm gonna just weld it up and see what happens. Either Clang is going to visit or he's not. It looks disconnected there. So. This is something I finally figured out, right? So all these, let's call them steel bars there or whatever, you know, these, they're basically indicating a loose edge. Nothing is connected there. There's no connection. The minute they go and disappear, um, let's, let's make an example. Let's, let's go take you away. You can see that has now appeared there, right? Around th all three corners or edges, basically meaning this block isn't really attached. If we go and weld it up, that's when it, now has full structural integrity and connection to its neighbors. Right? So, just something I finally figured out while I was building. And I thought I'd share it. Because I did mention I was confused about that. And I hate parkouring in space engineers. I honestly do. Thank you. I'm in. Um, Yeah, we're going to bring the cockpit down. We'll do the whole thing. We're going to take the whole thing apart here. Well, not really the whole thing. We've got, like, the structure is there. Then... I may actually be tempted to try and put a, an industrial cockpit. So, the piston doesn't connect there, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to really see and understand how that would work normally. Um, so, let me try, because I, I do like the look of that industrial car. I think I need to go and chop this off here. Bam, bam, bam. Put that together. Put that together and then just go and show me the cockpit block please it is not that it is not a helm it is yes the industrial cockpit i would like to place it please do we need to so i i am really trying to understand some of these blocks a little bit better what if i place it there how does that look and how does that come together I need metal grits, okay. 
Well, please, can someone, for the love of Clang, give me metal grids? What do you mean I cannot comp withdraw the components? Where are my metal grids? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, this is a cobalt thing. <laughs> um, actually, not too much on an issue. 1.6k? Well, here goes. I was talking about a stepping stone, that's it. Now, where, where, that's where the robot was. There, yeah, 1.58. We're going to do a little run. I don't care. I, I want cobalt. So I am sick and tired to my back teeth of that restriction too. So let's go and fix it. Hydrate in the meantime. Oh, look at my energy. Yeah, I really did not. Uh, okay. Wait, sorry, there's no point in me running even oh, to get cobalt if we barely have the energy to get there and draw. Yeah. Mistakes were made. So let's see here. Uh, what was I doing? I was, oh yes, I was recharging myself. Now again, the reason I'm going into a seat is because it's just quicker to recharge. Um, oh, no button. And you know, it's not actually a limitation of anything to do with the base it's a it's a limitation of the survival kit and once you put a medical station up I think it's called um, it becomes a lot quicker so you know again there's technologies later on in the game that will actually help you be quicker with things and be yeah less grindy I suppose Uh, yeah, this this is really the boring part. Me just holding shift and W and pointing in a direction and just running. But on the other side, or on the good side, the weekend's here. It's Friday, it's, you know, it's that time of the week where it's time to just let down your hair and just chill. And yeah, let me introduce you to the weekend by just letting us do some chilling building and trying to find some resources it's no stress yet at the moment um i have a sort of inclination or or, or hint of an inclination to say um maybe by episode 10 15 when we're in a bit better position i may actually add something like a sort of acquisitions you know like for the, uh, the whole assertive uh, mod thing by Splitzy. You know, just to give us some enemies and some more encounters to actually, yeah, interact with, because at the moment it is a fairly, I would say, dead world. Right. That, that is not to say there's nothing here. There is, certainly there's grids, you know, spawned somewhere. There is probably also hostile uh, grids, but nothing really that we need to worry about whereas if you do things with assertive you know there's actually this whole mechanic where when your threat level rises they become more aggressive towards you so you know it sort of increases that level of complexity or you know of challenge even, let's say but yeah let me 
let me know what you guys think about that and I'll put it down in the comments um as I say it's, it's just a thought I had and I may or may not do it but I, I certainly felt like it's something we could start dealing with once we have actually established ourselves a little bit now I know the resources are here I have obviously the problem that we have no clue exactly where so I'm gonna hmm, yeah yeah I'm just going to sort of make a diagonal panel downwards until I hopefully get... Is there something on that character that I can... I'm just... Sorry, I'm trying to see if there's something for me that... Gravity range, center of mass, sensors, field range, antenna range... It locks info, quiver... No. I was sort of hoping that there was something I could increase my width or my sort of, yeah, what we say, my range of my finding materials. I know it says ore collecting, collecting, but we are not. Trust me, we're not. No interest in stone. No, I can't just dig straight down that. That's that's the most important part in all this. Because we have literally no fuel to get ourselves back out of any predicament. There's cobalt and them there hilts. I marked it. I marked it here, and if I remember, I think if, if my recollection serves me well, which it may not. <laughs> I think we'll go more over here. We crouched or not? No, we weren't. That's the thing. Well, good for you, unknown signal. I'm on my drill to please tell me where that cobalt is. Point me just dig in here blindly. I think I'm. I'm gonna go a bit deeper because that is absolutely a thing that some of the resources are, you know, fairly deep in the in the environment, if you will. I didn't want to say cross because really it's not. Like the world was built like this in, in space engineers. Um, okay, I feel this is becoming a little bit <coughs> pointless exercise. I mean, yeah, I know you're telling me I've I've marked it here for silicon and cobalt. Until I can actually get a read on that, it's you know it's it's blind groping in them in the hills. Oh, okay, very frustrating, uh, very disappointing. Oh, well, it turns out that good old Sebastian is an idiot. Cobalt was right in front of him. the big rock, right in front of him. literally, right here. Now we'll build my inventory to the hilt with cobalt. That has got to be a thing for sure. No, 
and this will certainly allow us to build things that we weren't able to build before. Um, wrong buttons, excuse me. And see that going. I, fair enough, I said drop it. And please tell me you've not just gone and... Now of course you have, you know, you've just gone and picked up that stone again. So let's just... Go, oh, base, uh, there. We have plenty of cobalt. Uh, remember, this is a 10x inventory too, like it's... So, yeah, and now we're just running back. Hopefully get finished in assembling, uh, building that rover. You know, getting it put together. And then we're going to hunt for ice. Because again, if I had jetpack fuel, all this would have been so much quicker. So, yeah, it... If I can maybe give one piece of advice, if you if you have a sort of a couple of spawn options, and like you're not near ice, try and respawn again. It's absolutely worth it because this is painful. It's it's the start I chose, and it is all on me. Yes, but it certainly is not a pleasant experience for someone wanting to start the game. And. I'll be honest, it was one of the major hurdles for my first couple of games. It was this whole experience of, okay, you get dropped in a drop pot, you have no materials around you, and in my case, the, the drop pot had tumbled a good couple of hundred meters down the hill. Um, two of the thrusters were damaged beyond repair, so no grids there, you know, and you're like, okay, what do I do? How do I fix this? Um, this is why I'm quite happy I'd, I'd done this start. But if you have a choice, make it easy on yourself and find some spawn that actually at least has ice nearby. If if you only have ice to start with and you have to do the rest in stone, it still saves you a whole just a whole lot of bother. Because the minute you have a ample supply of ice, you can make hydrogen, you can use that hydrogen to put into a hydrogen engine, you have an almost unlimited fuel supply right there. Um Whereas in my case, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of running, we're doing a lot of literal hand running, or, or feet running, you know, like, and handcrafting things, we, it's a painful process. Again, it's, it's totally self-inflicted, and I can't complain, and I'm not, it's just something to make you aware of. So, I was crouching all that time too, oh. That's just even better. Do <laughs> uh, basic refiner. Take all that cobalt, please, and just do a thing. Yeah, you can hear it spinning up in the background, and the production should just be kicking off any time now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I, I understand there's still five being made, but we are actually getting a lot closer here. Three more. Two more. But yeah, it's literally just waiting on the cobalt being refined. And now that there's no production going to go on, we're going to see that the refinery is just going to keep doing that thing. Which is, you know, fine. We have plenty of iron, we have plenty of silicon. Of silicon and nickel now we're gonna get a whole bunch of cobalt to that which is gonna make our builds a lot easier and what do you mean i need six mil grids are you joshing with me oh okay metal grids and i'm sure i've missed other stuff Bulletproof glass. Oh, just before I go anywhere else. Bulletproof glass. And that's it. Not just a 30 bulletproof glass. Okay. And I'm sure they're just in here. 
There's actually a lot more, but it's fine. Uh, Sebastian's an idiot yet again. 30, there we go. And there's our industrial cockpit. I actually do like that. Okay, okay. I've seen it on other rovers that I've built before, you know, but do I now if I am not mistaken, this this has access for hydrogen and all that. So let me go and just clear off a bit of space here. No, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I'd done a thing. It wasn't attached somewhere. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, all this is basically now completely came off. It it's it is what it is, you know, it, it self-inflicted. Not not too big of an issue, really. Um now, if I'm not mistaken, things should be still grouped. Right, we should still have a group of three <laughs> maintenance lifts that we can reverse, and we still have three landing gears that we can still use. Right? Oh no, I, that was actually right. I just wanted to do switch lock. Right, and it may look weird, but it'll work, trust me. Um, If we lock quick enough. So, mix. Then. And there we go. We can just come up. Yeah, the rest of that grid will just fall out. Two forwards too far. So you can see, sometimes it is better have a bit of distance to get at pieces of the grid that have fell down, you know. Um, again, there's the top piston part that I've almost forgot. And then another block here, and I think we lost the gyro too. Oh yeah, we did. And that was a really well done welding job, wasn't it? <laughs> but you know, this is fine. I'm, I'm laughing at stuff like that. That's, that's, that's for me <laughs> every day. Um, Block and another slope up, please. That doesn't look right. Well, apparently, it was. And then, yeah, that should be enough to get me back up here. Right. Um, go and put. No, not that. Right, I'm a block. Build all this up for a second here. And so we know roughly what that shape is, right? It's one, two, three. No, it's not there. And that can go to just for my own sake. No, no, no. Of course. Of course I did. Slope. Get me back up there, please. Yeah, there we go. All right, block. No, not slope, an actual block. And then. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we'll start here. We'll three up, come one out. All right. That looks about right. Gonna we'll weld that stuff up. Because we don't want to repeat. Right. That attached, that attached, and then we should now be able to yeah, put that best in against there. Right, weld that up. Where's the plate? Come on. I know it's there. 
I'm going to do it from the bottom then. Right, that's the top piston part, and now is this is gonna be the little bit tricky part. I think it's this way. It, yeah, that seems right to me. What do you mean unable to place? Did I? It's one, two, three spaces. Okay, we're, we're gonna need to find this one block. Please don't fall apart. Then just build up the actual sort of framing. And you can see what's actually connected and where we might be blocked, you know, things like that. But it's just looks fine to me. Is it a? No, it's not. That's why it's fine. And it's gonna fall again. Yep. What am I doing? This is fine. It's it's a learning experience. Getting to attach it somewhere. It's that much is obvious. There's the plate, and then there's all that still plate that we've just. Stand how I build up on the other side that it doesn't fall apart. Right, so this is fine. There's a three white space, and so this is where we need to be. Right. We are literally just sitting on top of there. The puzzlement is great. The ability to jump between wheels apparently too. Yeah, thank you. Um, is it because it's got that outside wall? I th think that's what's happening. I mean, I can take this layer off up to the gyro. But I think the real attachment is happening right there, somewhere. And it feels like it anyways. Okay, so what do we build there? It's, uh... So it comes out this way along... What was that right up there. It's going all the way around as a little framing. Now we'll put that back in. Right, seems fine so far. Dun, 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 dun. And then now I should be able to place you and you. Right, this is a 3 by one space that we can now attach this guy to, weld it up, right? Oh, I've, I've, I've gone and... What on earth did I do? So apparently there's a block there. Right, that's where the gyro lifts on top of. Didn't do this thing, so that way. This one does that and that. So, what is that block? Like so. And with all 
or let me see here now, surely I can place you in there right There's literally nothing attached to those, so I was like, that I would have to fix there. It just, it's confusing to me in a way, but it should be fine. I should now be able to, please, dear space engineers, don't be in. Can we, yes. And that. Yeah, you've seen the weight shifting there. Right. Right, just... This up. So, so one, two, three space, that's literally... How wide or you know how long that landing gear is. So it's one, two, three. I can close that off. That'll yeah. That should lead to a nicely enclosed landing gear enclosure, like actually. Um, well that up. And that looks to me like I would want to. Um, so we're gonna unlock you, we're gonna go and bring them all down. And then we're gonna just add to the group. Um, maintenance lift. See there's that piston that first we're gonna rename. It's just don't like that particular thing. Uh, piston, 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 save. Right, next the maintenance <coughs> log. There's the other la uh, landing gear that we're going to add in. Make sure it doesn't say auto lock. And we're good. Right. Ooh, last but not least, just go through there. Make sure you share the inertia tensors in case of clang. Right. But other than that, what's the batteries like? Um, it, it's some kilowatt hours. It's, it's not good. It's not bad. But we, we have some power in it. Right. Um, critical. and it's fine because we're not quite done with the robot yet, but we need to put back, you know, storage. Um, I need an H2O2 gen, really, or are we just going to attach storage right now? Um, let me... Consider. What does that look like? Okay, so that is. Let's go in there, but. Uh, interior plate? You don't say. I have no interior plate, you say? I do so have interior plate. I know I do. Just let me on my rover, please. Alright, so there we go. Um, puzzle at that placement. But actually it's fine, because we can work with that. What I can do... I had an idea. I had an idea. So let's go and build this up. Uh, yeah, they're being made, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, take those. that off. I'm sure I can pop this. <laughs> that, that was a little bit of a scary moment there, but it, it worked. Um, help this back up. Right. 
Will you let me do this? Apparently you will. Okay, good. Um, now we have the empty space there, and I really think this is a really nice little space for, for example, one, two, put them there. That's, I find that is a nice little sort of area we can do this sort of thing, right? Because we're not doing anything other, any other hydrant stuff on here, which is fine. Um, go and give me the ingredients for that as well to the build planner, and then withdraw. Thank you. Oh no 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 no! Can we maybe? That's not going to work. So let's just try. For it again. I so desperately, badly want ice. In this save game, it's unreal. I, I can almost taste it. Um, awesome. Was it this guy that was missing? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then before we place a cargo container, I will place a. I, I am not quite now placing one of those, but I will in a second. Let me. No. Small grid, please. And. Make those construction compo uh, those components as well. Then you say we don't have them. Well, then make them, please. <clears throat> okay. Also, there is an alignment to these, right? Um, and I think it expects to be flat. Run. I, I don't actually care. Okay, we're gonna put it together here. And this is our build repair, literally just for the rover, just to keep it together and, you know, craft up any components I may have forgot. All components successfully withdrawn. And I'm getting closer and closer to the idea of my rover for today. It is not the perfect rover, it is not the rover I want to build for the long run, but it is one that we can work with. Okay, please don't climb me, please don't fall, just work with me here. Yes, thank you. And then I know there's a block possible there. Which is, I find surprising, but apparently it's a thing. That should still fully extend down, right? Then we can clean this off. One. Trying to do not too much damage from any of the other blocks here. Right. Um, we'll leave that there. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I don't rightfully care. Um, the other thing I was considering. So let me... No. Nope. Yeah, that way. And yeah, of course not. No. Small grit, please. Look, can you just make those components, please, then? Right. Place that guy there. And I am hoping I uh, maybe Vain Glorious. Um yeah yeah, go on gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and there may actually be a mod that we would need for what I have in mind. I don't know yet. I'll need to see. Right, so I was hoping. Just make sure. Antenna to gyros uh or detector. Yes. Oh good. Um, I'm gonna leave this. I, I I don't like that part. I just feel like that should ever work. So we're gonna fix it. Um, the idea was, eh, I, I don't even know if that's a thing for small grid. Like, how big is this thing? No, uh, small grid. Yeah, this. Like, is is there no? So I'm imagining there's just no refinery for a small grid, right? Yeah, it's just not a thing. Right. So the only way we could do that is through a survival kit. But no, it doesn't work that way. Because the survival kit doesn't actually do any of that. So, okay. Then cargo container says. Um, and I had a thought. Like, yeah, we've got a big one there. 
don't think I can do something quite sneaky here. And we need to convey a junction first. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Me two seconds convey a block. Um, yeah, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who says? No. What, what? We have not a small version of that. Or did I do a thing wrong? Uh, I may have done a thing wrong. Small. All oh, right. Okay. 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 There's a thing for small conveyor, and it's this one, maybe, right? And so my idea was as follows: what components are needed? I'm just going to extend the storage, basically. Right. Okay. Um. You say you have name motors? Oh, apparently not. Okay. That, that, that's okay. So, construction components. Make me a hundred and motors. I, I don't know. Fifty? Is that a reasonable number? I'll just try it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. So, the idea is basically fairly straightforward. We're just going to use these to come out of the storage container, right, each side. And then I would want to, let me confirm if that is no. I mean, that would be awesome, more big ones, but no, that, that's not what we're going to go for. Um, you know that it is a small... Yeah, small card container, that's what I was looking for. Right, and so the idea was to essentially have them, yeah, come down like this. Um, and possibly like this as well. While at the same time just filling the intermediate space. Just bear with me, I'm trying to get my thoughts properly organized so it makes sense for everyone as well. Um, and yeah, basically have these conveyors like so, and then just put the cargo containers like so. Like, does that make sense to anyone? Um, just basically more storage or ores sort of thing. Um, just sort of trying to get enough components together to actually lay it out first before we're going to weld it. Um, yeah, we, 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 we sort of know that part, trust me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of the setup I have in mind there. And it just gives us space for more yeah, ores, as I said. That's all I'm really interested in in this rover. Just to be able to transport more of that stuff. Um, please let me back up my rover. I hate this so much. So, not being able to... Okay, now let's come. Let's get to welding. Um... Go and just put together what I can, you know. Right, cool. So you're missing something you are missing, missing. Mm -hmm. Like so. Let's say six components. Uh, is that? Well, we'll, we'll find out. Go we'll and check the production quickly. Skadoosh. Successfully withdrawn. Nice. And if I aim this right, we can now finish this top. These top two rows. Yeah, looks about right. <clears throat> uh, 
then just checking the build planner. Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, that's good. Right, one, two, three. And we're going to come round. And build up the middle, I suppose. Right. Withdraw what we can, and what we can we put into production. And all components successfully withdrawn. Nice. I will be so glad when we have ice to not be doing the parkouring. I swear. There we go. Put that together. Like, I have no doubt that we have the materials for this little build. Let me through. What is going on now? Why am I trapped? What are you trapping me on? Makes no sense. And then what's it? Middle row? Yeah, that way we at least have a connection already to the large cargo <coughs> container. Nice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Withdraw what we can and the rest in production. No usual. You know, rinse and repeat. the last screen or display being made there we go fantastic and then I can just weld this off um oh we can reach that's um and I haven't even thought about connecting no, I said I would, and I probably really should have already. But at the moment, no, I'm, I'm not here. Okay. Um, could I wonder? We have plenty of like storage there, right? My thinking or hope was if I went. And actually, go give me build planner. Bah, yeah, it's just a small one. So just go on there. And just make me a whole mess out of them. Right, just put them in the build planner. Right, then I want to withdraw those components, which I can, which is fine. And then, yeah. We're just waiting on a few power cells. Well, a few, I say, but... Again, with the resources I actually gathered, you know, I'm really glad I've done that in between episodes run. Because it allows us to actually just build. And not you watch me drill for stone. <laughs> um, batteries. Many batteries. I, I would like to... Just... My thought is if I put enough batteries on it, we can do a little bit of a trek today. Come on, are you really? Holy moly. This game and its hitboxes sometimes... Oh, guess what? I'm stuck. Like, I am entirely and utterly stuck. And I'm actually not even kidding. I'm, I, I mean, like, proper... I can't crouch, I can't... And because I have no jetpack, I can't even change my orientation or anything. I can't. This is fine. Yes, I wish to respawn. So if you ever get stuck like this, you hit the backspace button and you can respawn. Now keep in mind, if you don't, if you haven't built a health uh, point or you know a health kit or first aid kit, anything like that, you're gonna have a bit of a problem because you're gonna respawn somewhere. In my case, I know I have a survival kit right there. And there we go. We have our first <laughs> um, victim, I shall say. Or, you know, whatever the expression may be. And the victim being me. Yeah, awesome. That's, that's always a good thing. Um, okay, I'm going to try not be so obnoxious with the placement so I can actually reach it. 
have. And as a matter of fact, I don't need to worry too much. And that, like, so let me let me show you what we. Let me get to an inventory, please. And we're gonna just go and deposit a whole bunch of stuff in there. And because, and this is as much me as it is. Yeah, it's on me. Um, we have a building repair. Why on earth I would not use it, I have no idea. So, gonna make sure it's set up right. We want to make sure it's walking only, it's not going to non attach grits. Um, don't do welding with this. Build new, yes. Um, you can build anything, I suppose. Um, neutral blocks. Well, why not? No, actually, just leave janitor. Um, nearest first, I suppose, and connect only of idle, push items, push components immediately, don't need to see the area, and that is basically us, right? I'm not going to enable it here, we're going to set up a button. Hey, might as well. That's what, no, not that, this guy, thank you. And then just toggle block on off. Boom, boom. And that's what I was expecting, yes. It's gonna start welding stuff now. Nice. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with a lot of steel plate. Or actually just you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Um give me power cells, give me give me all this stuff really. All these components we've sort of made. Give me, give me all that. Take it with us quite happily, and we're gonna make another thousand steel plate because you know it's steel plate. Come on, we always need steel plate. Put all the components in there, and yeah, I'm expecting now the batteries to slowly but surely get built up here, right? Yeah, it looks like it. looks like it's doing it. The control panel, and I will start putting them all together, because, hey, look at that, that's all the batteries put together, I like that, copy the name, mark all of them, new name, paste the name in, replace it, um, and we're just going to call it Rover Batteries, right, skadoosh. I'll do me just so I can mark them all, and yeah, they're going to be fully depleted and so on sometime. Um, but we have, you know, new batteries with about seven hours worth of charge. So not too bad. Um, the one thing I would like to see is it's actually not too bad. It's at more than six watts it's using. Eh, that's fine. Okay. Also, because we did change the wheels. Now, remember guys, this is fairly important if we don't want to go and kelp the whole thing here. Um, gonna need a build vision again, man. This part. It's something to do with my mouse that it doesn't just give me a nice build vision. It's not the wheel I need, it's that, is it? I'm scrolling and it just doesn't always work. Um, this is the middle wheel and we want the steering angle going quite down. As I say, I feel like 5% or 5 degrees may be too much already, but we're going to try it with that. And then the same for here. I can get in the middle here. Yeah, no it's ugly as sin. Oh god, I know. Where is it? Steel angle. <laughs> right down in like 5%. Right. And that's the first time I hit the right button to exit out of that menu. Yay! <laughs> um, so, another few buttons. Um, Antenna, I that seems nice. Check out the where is it? War detector, full range, broadcast using antennas. Yes. Okay, looks all good. Let's set up the quick bars for that. So I have. There is the ore detector. 
toggle block on off and then there's the antenna all right also cockpit handbrake and, <clears throat> just going through in my head if there's something i missed did i do the gyros thing i don't, I don't think i have all the gyros in it but we can do the group and say toggle block on off and um, then we're going to what was it yeah i see i knew it i knew this something consistent to see there but that's fine just add those two and save that into the new group and we're pretty much i think we're good to go right the only thing i would like to do because i in like this naming just name them all the same thank you would you kindly Not to just medium card container, please, right? Just agree that all these numbers are tiring. Thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for another trip. I feel like I would want to wait till dead time. Um, but then again, time's a waste in time, right? Have a I mean, this solar panel isn't going to stay there. You are aware, guys, right, that that's going to disappear soon. Like, it's just a means to get started. Um, but let me... Yeah, see that... On... And on... And sometimes you need to make sure that all the blocks are in the same configuration for you to be able to turn them all on and off at the same time. Um, boom, boom. Turn off, build and repair, because we don't need it at the moment. Um, I would like to confirm one last time that this is going to work. And it looks good. Like, if we're fully lifted up wheels are off the ground we could put them back on if they came off and we are locked to the ground so if i was to run into the grid it's moving something is moving that should not be a thing um but never mind Rover, um, break nose landing gears in, turn the handbrake off, and I have a rough idea of where we were last time. Also, whoa, before we go anywhere, yes, I did say this last episode that I completely forgot them, so let's go and fix that. We need lights, we need to see where we're going. That would be, I think, helpful. And we're just going to take this multi block thing because um, we can just select what we want. But in this case, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Give me. I can't do that like so. Need to make a small grid withdraw. With, make those, please. Oh, let me guess, I still have those in my build plan. Uh -huh. Those into production, please. And I have a feeling I've done a boo-boo there with the pulse. No, well, I don't need them. Right. The batteries are fully built up. Come on. Like, are you... Can, can we build it in enemies? Just to start with... I have really not done this design well. It looks horrific. So even that's recessed. So where's that recess? Okay, it's this guy and that block. I am fully expecting for stuff to fall at some point when I start grinding like this. 
Still all attached. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, that. See, this is weird. This is... I... I haven't... Done that right. Because there is actually blocks there. There's a block there. It's this part that is coming up. I would just like to have at least a somewhat small look across, you know, the two sides of this. So, okay. I'm sure I said for you to make steel. Yes. Just give me a hundred of them because I always need my steel plate. And I think I just put that one there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's about right. That's actually what I was looking for. Right, and then I can place that one there. One up. Build another one up. Grab what we can. What do you mean you can't withdraw those components and why are we not producing them? No, we have withdrawn. We have fully done that thing. What? I think it's because I am talking to an H202 himself. Let, let me confirm. Unless we have the ingredients. No, see? So what happens if I said, give me that? If I said, give me here? No. Okay, apparently we didn't make enough. But most importantly, once that's fully built, um, oh, I need another group first. Where is it? It's, I think they're called spotlights. It was. It's not spotlight. One and two, not just spotlights. That's what we're gonna call the group. Spotlights. Make a new bot. Yeah. Saying on off. Right. The other thing, and we're gonna just do that for the control panel because uh, where's it? Spotlights. It's going really. I, I want to see where we're going. What's in front of us? That, that, that looks good to me. And that is certainly a lot better than just the light coming from my suit. Okay. Turn this off actually saves us a bit of suit energy. Um, are we good? Am I going to go and look for ice now? I suppose I am. You can see how those middle wheels are not following the full steering, so that's fine. Um, handbrake off. We we are good to go, I think. No. I am tempted, however, to wait for daylight. So what we're gonna do? That's fine. Cause I. I I think I would like to see where we're going a bit more. Um, maybe it would give us an opportunity to go and chop a bit more and fix. Like, connective should absolutely be a thing, I think. Like, we should absolutely have something that... Yeah, you know what? Um, can we pass a connector past that? that? It's just three white, isn't it? Like, I think that is the common width and that, so let's... Hmm. Or am I going to leave that? I have no clue. Ah, do you know what? What I'm going to call sod it. Literally, I, I don't care. It's, let's go. We have some energy. We know roughly where we're going, because we had actually found a fairly good capture like turn those gyros on yeah just so I have a bit more authority over the whole thing oh whoa, whoa, whoa. also stop 
stop, stop, like, severely, stop, stop. We forgot something. Um, all those wheels. So we, we need to limit that speed. Because that will otherwise kill the whole robot yet again. Um, power, strength, speed limit. Kilometers. I'm trying to think if that was what it was. Let me let me ask the Chrome thing. Um, so 180 kilometers and meters a second is about 50, but. We were sort of quite happy with 30 meters a second. So 108 kilometers an hour is what we're going to set that speed limit at. <clears throat> right? Let's set it up exactly as the calculator tells me. And we should be good. And we should bottom out, so to speak, at just under 30 actually. Which is fine because we've got extra mass and that. What do we have? Yeah, magnesium, silicon, I'll, I'll mark it. What's that? Is that? Oh, yes, 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 boys, we've done it, we found ice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm a oh, the pain is over. It's finally over. Let's go and make a GPS here first. First for... Uh, what did I say? Silicon and magnesium. So this is earth. Magnesium, silicon. But, and we're just going to get as close as we can to the ice node. Mark right on top of it. And I have a feeling that because it is sort of like an underground thing, it's not going to be a huge node, but it'll do us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Handbrake. GPS. It would help if you can type, Sebastian. Uh, there'd be ice now. <laughs> uh, ice. will do me. Right. I know it's there. Fantastic. Let's drill. Um, gonna line myself up right on top of it. Just sort of. Yeah, that's, this seems fine. And oh, no, no, no. Stop, Sebastian. You can't do that. Are you mad? This is the whole predicament you're in. You, you, you can't just go straight. Um, okay, so we have the rover pointing this way, which is actually quite Lost the ice. Right. No, okay. It's, it's not. Okay. There. So the question is can we get past the silicon? Just get to the ice. Because I don't want to destroy resources either, you know, like the. Got silicon literally right underneath us, but the ice is sort of further this way. And that's what I was trying to sort of avoid. No, this this is magnesium. I'm sh no, silicon even. Well, I don't know. Dig it and see what happens. What is it? Yeah, silicon. Um, it's fine. Let's let's try and. Really, really would like to come past the silicon. Yeah, I, I feel this is good, and then I'm gonna come around. So, where's the ice thing? It's there, right? And then make a sort of spiral tunnel on them. Trying to build something that, yeah, I can get to the ice, but I can also make my way back out again. But 
Oh, I said would have been awful not. I'm stuck underground. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is sort of what I, looking, what I was looking for. This is nice. This is working. Consider it a spiral. Oh, yes. There is the pressure size. There it is. Let's try and excavate some of the corners. Try and see how much we've got. Any of this precious, well, for me, precious material. Just give me. Uh, this right here is. This is the stuff I'm so telling you. So. <laughs> it's only water I know, but it's it's one of the most precious resources for me right now. <laughs> I mean, good grief! Good grief! I found pretty much everything else. Now, if I've done this right, what I should find. Oh, God. No, not entirely, but almost. Can we make a thing here that allows me to please? Oh, please, just let me out. That's that's my fault. This this is totally my fault. This is self-inflicted. Let me try and fix it. Yeah, this this should work if I maybe um, and make a little ledge here -ish. yeah and then I should be able to yep just come up higher in a little spiral and hello silicon but now the beautiful thing is the beautiful thing is I can just go and do something like so and you can see how the whole thing just went down a bit um, and yeah, we, we have filled quite a lot of inventory, but see all this all this stone. Can we can we can we that? Because I really have no interest in keeping taking the stone with me. Alright, my wife's just bent her knee up in a bad way, and it's. Proper bruised. A whole bunch of stone, please um, go and drop. I, I, I don't want that stone, right? Now I would like to know what the storage. It's not. It's not good. But it's fine. It's enough to get us a little bit more ice. Ignoring the silicon and silicon side there. Here we go. Ice, yes. Stone, no. I'm just gonna fill my inventory. And then one of the next things we're gonna have to build is an actual hydrogen tank. And, you know, possibly an oxygen tank as well. Just so we can actually store the gases in on the ice farm. Because that is obviously all inventory space that's being taken up by, you know, big rocks of ice or stone or whatever we have around. But yeah, we're better off actually having it in tanks rather than it wasting inventory space, right? Anyways, let's go back to base. No, I said back to base, not that button, completely different button. Back up a little bit here. But it's a, it's a healthy haul. I am positive that we are really in a good position now. We have all the main ingredients that we need. Hey, yes, Tarsus, I found ice. I finally found ice, and, and the worst part is, it's about 400, well, about 800 meters away from base. I didn't need to go as far as we did yesterday. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I did find ice. I mined some cobalt in between as well, just so I could build, um, you know, stuff with grids and that. Because I like the industrial cockpit, but it was requiring six grid, and I was like, nah, don't care, I'm running for the cobalt. 
but yeah, we've we finally made it. We found ice, so that that is such a good piece of good news. And yes, I know I've not built a connector yet, but you know, more important. Oh no, wait, 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 wait! I forget my script lines. Oh, okay, can't break. Um, the most important part of all, I can just go top all us in there and go do the same again. Just big inventories. Uh, ice, uh, silicon, I'll take that too, because I picked it up. More ice. And it turns out the small cargo containers are useless. I mean, good. I'm gonna slice all them off. Nah. But I can hate them already. But it's fine. So, now, watch this. My hydrogen is getting filled! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Which means I can now rebuild the mining contraption we were working on. So, oh, come on. Are we, are we really doing this dance? Just give me the inventory, please. Where is my. Okay, with the assembler. Yes, you. Go and take, take that bottle, please. And we found it. Thank you. And as a matter of fact, can we? I hope I can. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, make another one. So, two bolts. Inventories. Uh, not there. Give me them. We're going to go to the old region. And stick both of them in there, give me that back, give me that back, and we have plenty of jetpack fuel now, finally. I can fly again. And so, build planner empty, let's go and start building stuff up, right? Draw what we can, um, bit of reduction. Um, also, you know, for those that just maybe just recently joined, I have also included a build and repair on the rover. It's sort of right between the conveyor converter and the big cargo container. Um, just so I can actually get the rover built up essentially, if I'm doing any changes. So that's the nice thing with build and repair, I can just do things like this. Schedule share goes, it builds me up the blocks, you know, I, I love that. Um, I'm taking them off right now, because they were just for, yeah, just for showing off. Or showing the build and repair in action there. Um, emptied that guy. Also, let's please conserve energy. Um, off, 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 off. And I've also, just to show it, we've um, upgraded the whole construction underneath to lift us up. I've done is I've got the pistons now and instead of magnetic plates I've decided on actual landing gears that can lock into the ground uh, into the ground and wheelbase is sort of one down from that but in a cell the landing gears are actually fully retract into the base as it were you know into the bottom of this construction um, we have now got few things to build as I say. Oh, those components should really be one motor later. Oh let me let me just build some things. What do you mean I need steel plate, right? I, I thought we've put all this into production, right? Seriously? Okay, 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 okay. Go and just give me no steel plate then please. Sometimes the build plan can be a little bit iffy. 
but I think it's actually more of a, a you know, user error, if you will. Yeah, no, so, so Tars is saying that um, I was mentioning yesterday that I, I wasn't having enough, enough power to running the rover. Um, basically what's happening is I don't have enough energy or I don't supply enough energy, enough energy to run everything all at once. You know, it would absolutely be possible to turn down most of the components and just leave the wheels running. Like, that would have absolutely been a thing yesterday. It would have probably actually got us closer to home as well with the rover. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Add that. Add that to the build planner. And withdraw what we can. Put into production what we can't. <clears throat> This is the one thing that is really a pet peeve of mine, like, the, the way assemblers do these things. Like, when you see you make more than one batch of steel plates, put them together! Come on, it's not that difficult. A simple human can do it. Surely a assembler can do it. <laughs> uh, but that's just me ranting, don't, don't mind me. Um, so yeah, put this together. the stack of drills that we're going to attach to this whole construction thing. Um, also because we have now got um, you know extra functionality in here we probably won't have enough buttons. But I have a sort of solution for that. I, I have a plan of what I'm wanting to do with that. Right, last but not least, now that we've got all those parts together I remember we've we've done this we've done this whole song and dance. I'm just gonna show off one more time and make sure we're building it right. And it is big grid. Go and just build what you can then. Yeah, Tars. I, I noticed. Um, I actually have set up a specific space now for our you know the the 2022 Space Odyssey. <laughs> um, so there's now a text and voice chat. For that as well that you're more than welcome to go and join it won't be on stream however like i i'd be loath to just have my discord unmonitored going on to stream nothing against you but it's it's you know i, ha I have a responsibility to all my viewers and it's as simple as that um what will happen you know when when we do multiplayer stuff yeah obviously that Discord channel would then be on stream. Right, rotor. Get that together. And like, I'd like to mention that like um, that I am still a beginner at a lot of these things. So that includes things like Discord. It <laughs> includes things like this whole streaming deal. You know, I rarely edit unless I really, really have to. Um, so, you know, things will not always look super professional. But I am making an effort and that's all I can ask. So there we go. That looks good. I, I, I love the fact I can finally fly. Let's, let's go and chop this all away. Boom, boom. Um, that one too. Yep. But this is fine. Uh, yeah, this this can all go. But, but, but this this was literally just me trying to build scaffolding and walk on. So there we go. All looking good. I'm surprised that world cleanup hasn't got rid of this stuff yet, but it's fine. That sore apparently. I'll oh, don't care. We can fly again. I will use.
use every opportunity to do so. Uh, no. No. Yeah, that's 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 the ticket. And yeah, you're right, Tarsus. Not everyone is not good at everything and <laughs> Hello Kitty. Um That is the whole point of this journey. And we're just gonna go what? a little bit. Is that gonna be enough? Uh, I'm gonna try to think. Let me try something here. We're gonna go and do we still have that piston drill extension? Yes, nice. And what I'm gonna do is just set it to one. Right, just just go out all the way and yeah, I know it it looks awfully clangy. So we're all the way out, and it would come around. Oh, it's so clammy. <laughs> no, I can't. I have to fix it. I'm sorry. I can't look at it. <laughs> Straighten up a bit. Um. Oh my God! Look at it. I look. Uh, I love Clang. I worship Clang, but he scares me. <laughs> um. Now, rotors have that same thing, don't they? Like, isn't that a whole chair nurse attention thing as well? Yeah, there is. There is. I see it. Right, now, now we are in a better position. So if that's the full extension, yeah, we've got to be underneath, really, aren't we? Let's do... Nope. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Maybe not six, maybe two, five. What's that look like? Yeah, well, well I'm gonna try it. Okay. Either things will work out or I'm gonna break my base. Either or, it's going to be fun. And there we go. Added all that to the build planner. Again, it's like, come on, what are you doing? You're killing me, smalls. Right, and look at this godforsaken mess. I mean, keen software house with you. If there's one thing this game is really needing fixed, it's that. Just put all the things together in one queue, like... And I actually understand what they're doing. Um, extend the upward person first, and then add more pistols to downward. Um, yeah... Right, that's actually a good idea. So, Tarsus again, <laughs> it's coming for a big time. Um, another piece of advice, and we're going, before I weld it all up, let's go and do that then. So, here's advice. Snap, snap, snap. I'm gonna just show you off, show show what he's talking about, just so we can see what's happening. Um, let's lift these parts up, pardon me, um, off. And what we're going to do, um, I will need to name that piston. That I'm, I'm gonna need some name for it, uh, where is it? Uh, name there, uh, up chat, one by one piston, just up. Right, then also we can just go and just bring it up right now. And so the idea here is as follows. Let me just go and set like so. So the idea is as follows. We're going up right now. We're going to attach more pistons. <clears throat> right, no, wrong piston. It's this guy I want. Basically going to attach more probably. Let's see. Aye, on you go Tarsus. <laughs> Tarsus got to pull a car out of a ditch. Good luck with that, my friend. I'll be here for another 
45 minutes possibly, something like that. We'll see. I was aiming for three hours today. Um, but so what he's saying, basically go put my pistons right now and then put the drills on. Well, drill and rotor construction, you know, that, that whole. So this gets attached now like so. Right, <clears throat> let's go and put it together. Because what we can do, right, as we're telling the pistons, these pistons to go down, we can tell that piston to, so these are obviously going to extend, right, but we can tell this piston to, to retract. Um, and I will do it as a two-part process, so, right, I'm going to keep those components or those, yeah, components, I would say, uh, separate in their movement. Um, and you'll see in a minute what I mean. Like, I... Uh, just building up the blocks as much as I have them. And then fill in the pieces. Right. You're missing something. You're missing something. You're missing something. You're missing something. What about you? You know, you're complete. And you're complete. Wait. Is that right? There's some... No, no, it's right. You're complete, and... This all looks good. Nice. So, give me those components, please. If you can't mm, give them to me, please... Just put them into production, right? We're going to build up this bit. I'm missing some mortars for that. It's all fine. It's this looks a little bit off. I will be honest, um, but we can just go and grab the materials once they've been made. Also, oh. do the hydrogen thing first, maybe. Yeah, oh, I might as well just hold F here. And it, this mod is a little bit weird in that way. It, it does do the job. Um, I don't quite understand sometimes how the display works. Yeah, that should be it. No, I should be absolutely full on three, but no, not quite. But I'll take it. Like, yeah. Yes. Um. Opponents can't withdraw. Well, why not? Are we? Please tell me. <laughs> we, we've run out of something. We have genuinely run out of. Iron, I think. I'm not entirely mistaken. It is. Yes, it is. It's. It's an iron thing. Um. So we're gonna go and change this about quickly. Just because we've had some stone and get that silicon. Also. No, just please drop it to the floor. That's my fault. Shouldn't have put a block there. Just, yeah, just go and do that, please. Good grief. Um, but, you know, thankfully we are actually in a good position for me to say, you know what, okay, we need iron. We'll go and grab a whole bunch of iron now. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. I'm going to deposit everything. I'm going to clear my, just build planet, all this stuff, just get all that bit of um, here's what we're going to do we're going to unlock the lightning gear come back down lift the handbrake uh, gyros might be useful and we don't even need the ore detector because we have literally got you know waypoints one is like 1.4 kilometers. I'll take that one. Not that one, that one. And then we're gonna just head over there quickly. And I'm not gonna chase an unknown signal in the next 40 seconds, no. Saw that. Uh. And this is what actually Tarsus was meaning, right? 
we are literally at the moment just running gyros and wheels, right? We have five hours of energy. If I go and say, we'll go and turn everything on, just as an example, it goes down to three hours. Right? Yesterday, we were in a position where we, we had barely any energy at all. Right? Instead of me turning things off, yeah, I decided to not. So, yeah, the, the likelihood is we could have probably got the robot aim, even in the state it was in. But, you know, it's a learning experience, and this is exactly what I'm doing. So let's go and break a little bit here. I'm sure I've hollowed this guy or out already a little bit. Did I leave the light on? What's that moment light? I, it is actually moment light. But I have a feeling I've done the thing here already. Yeah, see? See? I've I done the thing. I've yeah, done the thing. Iron, just give me all that delicious red iron. Just this is fucking right. This is oh, spare voxel. Now, mind what I said about them. If you see like spare voxels, just get rid of them. Man, it's just such a pain to run into them and stuck on them or something. Put that in there. And just a bit more. I'm sure I had. Oh, I, I see you, rolling. Get back here. Maybe this allowed you to stay just going to roll off into the distance. Right. Just a little bit more iron. Just filling my own inventory, really. I'm pretty sure the robots. <laughs> to the hill for those stupid small car containers. Note to self, don't use them. Right. They may serve a purpose for maybe passing materials through, like say between drills and something, but for keeping material, nah, no, no use. But try. One of them fit 360 kilograms of ice. It's not even worth the effort to collect, essentially. Can't break. And turn back to base. Two big inventories full of iron. That should definitely guess. Building the um, yeah, the mining rig. Back to base, and in, uh, to put in all the iron into the refinery. Uh, tell the refinery not to worry about the cobalt just now. Just deal with the iron first. And there's a whole bunch of, what you call it, uh, ma materials being made while they're in the queue. So. Gyros off. My handbrake's on, so we're We're fine. I don't need to lock it up onto the landing gear. It's really just a maintenance thing, so there's no reason for me to do it. Um. Is this the one I'm... Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at and connecting to. Ooh, we still had eyes on us. On in the... Well, I'll take it. It's, it's fine. Not worried. It's cool. See, 338 kilograms of iron. It's, all cargo container really isn't worth it. Right, now we're full just now. Put all that in there. Get back to the inventory. Why there was an inventory? Give me all this stuff, please. Yeah, this. What is with this cargo container? I can't access it apparently. It's 
weird. Is it on this side? Oh, I think I know what I've done. Right, let me... If I'm not mistaken, I have deposited once into here, have I? Yes. That's the guy. Right, there, there we go. So again, you know, these small conveyor ports, they can't even pass components through, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Um, right. What are we missing? We have put... I need to check the... Just builds. Status. That. You are needing something. You're built up. You're built up. You are needing something. What about this rotor part? Also needs something. Okay. Draw those components, please. I would like to get this drill setup running today. Um, now that we've sort of got all the necessity f necessities of space engineering together. Yep, yep, yep. And then last but not least, put that there. Okay. Now comes the question. Because I have not really thought about... I'll do that. We'll see. Oh no, it fits. Like... We don't have the materials, but us. What's it in here? Right. Okay, I, I. Give me just a few of them, right? So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm, I'm hoping. Five's alright. It looks a little bit too close. I I really do not like it. Let me try something different though. Um, so if we go and take this guy off, right? He's gonna come down. He's gonna come round. We may be doing it quicker if I was to or just talking sake, um Let me see, uh, what did I say? Three each side seems you know that I like. I like that. Yeah, that 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 I don't know why, but I like this. This, to me, seems like a good drill setup. Oh, hello, Clang. I see you. Okay, let, let's deal with Clang quickly. Before he rips our base apart. Or at least our mining rig. Um, so all these pistons... ...are... ...drill... ...down. There's a piston up. That's fine. So, share inertia tensor. Share inertia tensor. All, all of these. Um, advanced rotor. Yeah, you too, please. Right. We should now be stable. Build plan up, build plan up, build plan up, build plan up. Okay. Let's see. And again, it'll be one of those. We have a few things, but not a lot of the other ones. Okay, I think I may have actually myself in the corner there and whoa, 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 let me get all this. I, th I think that was I I, I done a thing. Then 
let's withdraw what we can. And I know it's gonna say it can't. But there is quite a few things we can actually see. time. No. 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 And I think I forgot to do the thing I was, I said I was going to do, which is this thing. Yeah. No order of operations again. It matters. It really does. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, you know, it's a thing. Real life happens in between as well. And there's another unknown signal which I care not for. Do we have more steel tubes? Oh, that, that was the back spike in half. And yes, there's one drill, and we'll just rinse and repeat now. So yeah, it's still, it's still all a thing. I'm still missing all sorts of things. All good. Um, let's be lazy. Let's rest my weary bones. Ah. Gives me time to hydrate as well. Now we've done that part. Um, who are my Ultra H2 generator, aren't we? So let's just go and put a bottle in there and get it filled and bring it back. Thank you! And then fill up the suit. Goodish. Yeah, this is how that goes. Um, yeah, we're working through it. You know, it's it's fairly it's a fairly big production job that we've asked of it. Uh, see, this is not as construction components that we're waiting on. Um, and I think actually in the next episode, what's going to happen is um, we're going to extend the base. Like, we're going to expand it. We're going to go away from basic refineries and basic assemblers. We are going to use the big boy stuff, right? We're, we're, we're going to mature our base a little bit. Um, and it's really in in the, in the sense that it helps us be quicker with waiting on these sort of big material runs. Sort of one of the main reasons why I want to do that for next time. Steel plate, steel plate, steel plate, steel plate. Yeah. 
Well, guess what? It's being made. As we speak. Yeah, I mean, there's the steel tube in there. Let's actually quickly, because they, they're, they're done in like no time, put them ahead of the production queue. Boom, and then there's the motors getting made. Douche. And then now we're just waiting on steel plate, right? Fill out as much of this as we can. Right. Um, I would start. To s well, would like to start setting up these bars a little bit. Right. Um, wrong. No, that was apparently that was the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to do this. Um, so we're gonna get rid of this because there's gonna be a new group. Right. Then. I think I'm gonna clear the whole tube. Alright. I have one function to say go out as this piston. Right? And then to turn on. I think that's what we're gonna do when making another button panel. To sort of well initiate the drill if you will. Right? Let's let's go with that as a as a Yeah, uh, like something like so, where I can say, hey, dear drills, um, was it interior plate I need for that? That's missing. Production. Interior plate. Please make one. Thank you. And I think we're currently waiting on iron just being refined. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Why? Pray tell, is the refinery not refining my iron? Any more iron flying about that I should know about? Eh, a little bit more there, but that's fine. Also, we made an interior plate. I am sure I made one. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Place that. together no, I but there'll be other things that can be put together now because I've seen my inventory size well the available space reducing let's put it that way um, and again we're just waiting on a lot of components here Again, you know, this could really be helped by having a another refinery and another assembler right next to each other, just to speed it all up, but eh. Might as well finish off what we started this way. And it is literally just the fact that, see, these miners, or these drills, I mean, how much steel plate is that? 180, 120, so there's 300 steel plates per drill. And I've decided to put down, what, seven of them. Right. That's 4,200. Uh, yeah, 4,200 steel plate that we're basically dumping in there, you know. It's, it's, uh, that's a big job. Yeah, I know, you, you see you're still lacking stuff, but we're gonna just keep, you know, put the stuff in. This is again hindering on steel plate. what the production says. Uh, I must be tempted to say, hey, can you not do that? 
But, eh. Also, why? I honestly thought, um, just call it base one for now. Okay. Um, I honestly thought I'd done that. This goes to show you always forget something. But, like, I honestly feel we've made really good progress today. We've fixed the rover. That was one thing. We found ice. Uh, this has been a long time coming. And we now have a, yeah, I, I would call a bigger and more efficient mining rig. You know, once it's all welded up. Um, but, yeah, I like the progress. Like, I, I like where this is going. I like where, how this is looking. And yeah, I appreciate it's a slow progress, but that makes it all the more enjoyable for me because I don't feel stressed. But nothing worse. First of all, please run this through. Yeah, while well, you have it. And then please run that in there. Do we now have all of the stone and dealt with? Yes. And I have my jetpack all this time. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Air falling. How much further are we away? 400 plates left. Holy moly. <laughs> to be honest, I, I sort of knew this is going to be a bit of a bigger build when I've done that. I don't know if it's if you call it greed, but yeah, I, I got a bit big from all shoes here and thinking, well, oh, I'm not just going to make more than two or three drills. I'm just going <laughs> to tax my whole assembly line to the max. It'll be fine. I just want it functional right now. And then we can get it running. There we go. Functional, functional, functional. <clears throat> cool. Um, jetpack off. Need to build this up. Interior plate construction components. <laughs> Let me see. I have components somewhere, unless we've really used them. No, there's no, no there's computers. That's not what I need, is it? Interior plate and construction components. No, it's not. My thought. Nope. Okay, production. Make me ten. And what does it look like? What what is is this interior? That's interior plate. And then do this. Okay, I am going to do something fairly sneaky, yeah, and say, go and disassemble all those. Um, I can go, I just need enough for think we have it. Like, let me... It's a material plate one construction. It's not what I was after. Mm. 
now I need to all change this whole thing. Oh no, it's fine actually, it's done that part. But we're missing iron, literally. I think after all this, we are still short, but okay. Um, I'm gonna try and cheat our way. I, I can enable those fairly easy. Right? Let's group them up. All those drill go into a base name. No, no, it's not. It's not. That's the naming. That's what I want the group to be, but not the individual names. So, boom, boom, save, girls. We have the piston up. Right, we need to set a speed for him first. And this is my usual, like so, right? Uh, now I need... Right, it's not capable of that, uh, 0 0.02 divided by 4 is 0 0.005 so that is the speed that these guys need to move at it's minus 0 0.005 and then the advanced rotor we know we can be barely barely blunt with that Right, and yeah, he's already gone. We're setting that to be a rotor lock. No, it's not. Advanced rotor in there. Yeah, rotor lock on off. That's one button. Then I would this one single piston. It's this guy, right? that we're going to say reverse um, and then these groups of this group of pistons would basically also reverse and they would come down right does that sound about right and then I can actually say this button right here um, the reels all of those drills, please. Toggle block on, off, boom, skittish. Okay. And, yeah, we're, we're, we're drilling. We're doing the thing. It's spinning, it's drilling, it's drop. And now we take this piston. Does anyone else see that clanginess? That's awfully, awfully wobbly, wibbly, wobbly piston. They're all doing that. I don't know if we're just being too aggressive there, but... Where's that drill? Let that piston up. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, That was my fault, I think. I think I was pushing that piston down already, even though we hadn't even cleared like an area here. So where's that piston again? Piston up. Yeah, whoa, that was... Now that the speed is fine, I need to actually let it finish a full rotation first. Right, and so that's the whole point. We're then gonna bring this piston down, right? So the tower has come down, and it should be fine now. Like, um, right? But so we'll let him finish a full rotation here. Let him really make a big round entry hole 
then this piston is going to come down, brings the pistons or the drills to sort of about this level, and then we're going to extend this guy. And that's then really going to drive into the ground. So that is sort of the idea here, right? And we've got that running. I'm happy with it. It. Oh, it's so clangy. Why? Okay, I don't know which of these guys is. Let me see. One by one piston. for pistons. Oh, that's fine. This one. She has a synergy tent side. But both things gonna regular self apart. Maybe another block. I, I, I wonder. Okay. Got this piston. That. That one. Ah. Uh, is it this one? You can normally tell where where the weekly starts. There should be not so much wiggliness. Um, I think this is the... It's calmed down. It's fine now. Oh, I have a feeling I know what it is. Anyways, this is... the piston up. Yeah. I, I think it's just because we're... Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, but it, it's, it's working. It's doing the thing. I think. Well, that's another thing. Are we getting stone? Is this stone not moving away? Is it not going anywhere? You're not dealing with the materials fast enough, I wonder. Um Anyways, it's about wrapping up point, right? Um, I'm really happy for the people that have joined today. <clears throat> Thanks for the people in chat for giving advice. Um, yeah, we've actually set out what I was hoping to fix since yesterday. The rover is running again. We can we can park it up fairly safely. We have found all the resources that we sort of need for the next couple of episodes. We have a more efficient and bigger drill system that we're going to drive into the ground as of the next couple of episodes. Um, and yeah. For next time, as I say, we've got some plans to extend the base a little bit, you know, get processing a little bit quicker done. And then it's definitely time to get this rover a little bit more gussied up, prettified, and made into a sort of mobile base. I, I would like something where we could do a bit of exploration and, and, and grab resources <coughs> and yeah, if necessary, <coughs> establish a new base somewhere. So that's sort of the 
yeah, what we're going to do for next time. <clears throat> Before we can really have a mobile base, so I'm going to say it right uh, outright, we're going to have to find silver. Like, without silver, there is no survival kit, no survival kit, no respawn point, and also no ability to go and create items on a mobile grid. <clears throat> At least, small grid. Nice, right. Um... Until next time, thanks for watching yet again. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. I appreciate everyone, a single one of you. And peace out.